In this video, we'll have a look at the regression options in the 2D crossplot. So right away, we'll jump to Petrel. Here I have a poor perm plot for a set of wells, and we are going to run a set of regressions on this uh, crossplot. So I can open up the regression menu by going to this Add Equation button and open up the Simple Regression Analysis menu. So you see here in this menu we can select the input data types so we can either select the raw values or the logarithmic using the radio buttons and we can also decide if the regression is static or dynamic. I'll show you what the difference is between those two in, in a minute. And then you see we have different regression types. So we have linear regression, logarithmic regression, polynomial regression, power regression, and exponential regression. And for each of those we can decide if we are running the regression with a minimal residual on X or Y axis. So you see we have minimal residuals on x-axis or y-axis and then here in the latest release 5.0 we added some new regression types that will minimize on both x and y-axis uh, at the same time so the, that's these three regressions alright so let's try and insert a, a couple of regressions so we'll be running with the raw values so let's insert a linear regression a polynomial regression and an exponential regression at the same time. So we we'll give them a suffix, demo one, and hit apply. And you can see it ran all three regressions and added the regression lines immediately. So you can see I can access the regressions here in the data tree. I can toggle on the legend and we can see that the correlation coefficients will be displayed for each of the regression types so of course the exponential fit has the highest correlation coefficients of the three in a typical poor perm plot so let's untoggle the other two here we can go into the regression and change some of the plotting style so we can go in and change color let's take a dark blue so we can see it a little more obvious and we can go in and add the actual equation to the plot so that shows up here and you probably saw we can go in and change it to a log 10 expression and let's just go back to the natural logarithm like this. Now let's try and add the same equation but just make it dynamic. So again raw values, dynamic, exponential regression, demo2 suffix like this and of course that plots on top in the light red. Let's just change the color to a clear green so now you will see the difference between the static and the dynamic so I'll go in and add a filter let's try and filter this cluster over here and now you'll see that the dynamic regression adjusts itself just to the data that's inside of the filter and as we move the filter around you will see that the regression follows so now let's make that a static. Let's say that we are satisfied. So we can go in and say, now it's a static regression. And we can toggle off the, the filter. Let's just change that color back to red. We can also access the settings for the equations by going to this button that will open up the investigation panel in the equations tab so you can see we've got different settings that we can control, plotting settings etc that we can control from in here so let's just try and take this original exponential fit and apply a min and a max hit apply and see what that does so you see I zoom out and now you can see that a min and a max has been applied 
to this blue exponential fit regression. So let's go to this red one, show equation, we can make it a little thicker and again apply a min and a max so let's go in and this was the filter that we applied from 0 0.7 to 0 0.14 like this and we can go in and show error bars and make those a little thicker like that so let's zoom in so here you see that So that was the simple regression menu. We can also go in and add user-defined equations. So you can go in and specify the equation type. So again, let's just try an exponential. And we can go in and type the constants here, like this. And you will see the user-defined uh, equation. And again, let's take a more obvious color great like that we also have multilinear regressions so that is a regression linear regression type where we calculate the output based on more than just in one input so here you can say you want to calculate porosity from permeability and reshale based on linear regression So you see here that's also displayed in the data tree, but since it's a multilinear regression, it doesn't make sense to plot in a 2D cross plot. Alright, let's try and take those off. Let's color by facies here and just look at the reservoir facies types. And then we can go in and run a Bayesian classification like this and you see that's also accessible. So all these regressions and the multilinear regression and the Bayesian classification can be applied on other data types uh, using the investigator transformer and I'm gonna cover that transformer in a separate video. Thank you very much.